The Catholic Campaign for Human Development is an organization that is administered by the USCCB. Their annual second collection for 2019 will take place the weekend of November 23rd and 24th. And I was looking into the Catholic Campaign for Human Development, and on Lepanto Institute's website, they have a lot of good information about them. I will link a lot of that down below. You can see that the Catholic Campaign for Human Development endorses a lot of companies that support pride-related activities. Lepanto Institute also provided a profile of the Catholic Campaign for Human Development director. His name is Ralph McLeod, and at one point he endorsed Wendy Davis for a political position. Wendy Davis is a famous um, pro-abortion politician from Texas. So I took a look at the grants that were issued by the Catholic Campaign for Human Development during the 2018-2019 fiscal year. One of their grants goes to Power Inspires Progress. It's in Cincinnati, and it's a pizzeria. Another one is the People's Lobby Education Institute of Chicago. They support um, pride activities. Another one is Quad Cities Interfaith. So all of that stuff, I just did some quick research, and I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty disappointing. And then I stumbled upon George Soros-funded organizations. The Center for Worker Justice of Eastern Iowa received a $65,000 grant from the Catholic Campaign for Human Development. And in 2017, they received a $25,000 grant from the George Soros-funded Open Society Foundation. The No Boundaries Coalition received a $75,000 grant from the CCHD. And in 2016, they received a $25,000 grant from the George Soros. New Orleans Workers Center for Racial Justice, this is a big one. They received a $50,000 grant from CCHD for this past grant year. And in 2016, they received a $250,000 grant from Soros. And the pro-abortion Ford Foundation gave them $9 million since 2006. Recall the Ford Foundation funded the Brazilian Bishops' Conference, which was responsible for a lot of the planning of the Amazon Synod. So all these things are connected. All of these corrupt groups are connected. And what we're seeing right now is George Soros money being poured into a lot of these groups that are also funded by Catholics. This money and this corruption seems to be more prevalent than a lot of people really imagined previously. So Lepanto does this research. I did some of this research. Why is there not an employee on the Catholic Campaign for Human Development going through these organizations and auditing these organizations to see how Catholic they are or how much they represent the Catholic faith? It's just really surprising to me. So the Catholic Campaign for Human Development is probably the most corrupt out of all of the USCCB subsidiaries. I would say it's no longer necessary for the Catholic Campaign for Human Development to even exist. The money could be redirected to something much, much better. Maybe like a pro-life organization. Or something that's not going to support leftist politics. The fact that the USCCB hasn't acknowledged this yet just shows how far removed from reality they actually are.